everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you read by the title, today I have a very cool vlog in store for you. Because today, we are going to be going to Holiday World and Kentucky Kingdom in the same day. Now you guys love the Holiday World videos I do and I haven't been able to do one in a very long time and you also have wanted me to do another Kentucky Kingdom video so I thought why not combine them into one video. Today we're about to leave for Kentucky Kingdom. We're going to be staying there for about half the day then driving to Holiday World for the second half of the day and staying at two parks in one day. This is going to be a ton of fun. Basically a Kentucky Kingdom vlog and a Holiday World vlog combined. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like and subscribe and we're about to leave for Louisville to get to Kentucky Kingdom right now. Arrive at Kentucky Kingdom and Hurricane Bay. Thank you. So we have made it here to Kentucky Kingdom as you see. There's the drop tower, lightning run. So we're going to Storm Chaser first, everyone. All the way in the, look at these people run the lightning run. That's why I said Storm Chaser may be better to go to first. So the plan is we're gonna vlog as much as we can while we're here and then leave around 3.30 Eastern time, which is the time they're on here at Kentucky Kingdom. And by the time we get to Holiday World, it'll be around around 3 30 to 4 o'clock central time and uh, we'll have a few hours there we're at storm chaser almost though pumpkins well apparently storm chaser is supposed to be closed for most of the day probably other than maybe when i'm doing some of the compilation it's going to be closed the whole day while we're here so poop we're going to go to thunder run i guess then since we're back here and i don't really feel like walking all the way back up to lightning run First ride of the day, it's going to be Thunder Run. I just got off Thunder Run. It was very good. Got the back seat and back seat's always the best on like almost every roller coaster. I think now we're going to head to T3 since Storm Chaser is closed. It is time for the infamous T3. telling you every time I have rode T3 it slowly has gotten better and better on the roughness scale it still is very rough and kind of painful but it is getting better it's not as bad as it used to be I think we're gonna stop at Kentucky Flyer and then after that go back to Lightning Run since we skipped that at the beginning going to Storm Chaser and Storm Chaser is closed you gotta be kidding me it is time to ride Kentucky Flyer got off Kentucky Flyer. That one is definitely fun, but a little bit more of a kiddish roller coaster. But the next coaster is not a kiddish one because Lightning Run is up next. Ferris wheel's closed. After we do ride Lightning Run, we'll have rode all the roller coasters other than obviously Storm Chaser since it's closed. So after that, we'll probably ride some flat rides like the Drop Tower, like the uh, Cyclos. Oh, and Extreme Scream. It is time to ride Lightning Run. I'm telling you, lightning run in the very back seat is no joke. That was a ton of fun. Now though, I think we are gonna ride Cyclos. I was telling you I wanted to ride some flat rides now that we've got all the roller coasters out of the way. Also, I'm seeing some storm clouds, which is not good at all. We 
we did the cyclos and also as you saw we did the drop tower we're making good progress so far it's only been about an hour and 45 minutes and we've rode a ton of rides already all the roller coasters and multiple flat rides uh, right now we're heading over here by extreme scream and then i forget what the other rides called after that though we're gonna have rode a lot of the big rides next up is one of my personal favorites scream extreme i don't know why i keep calling it extreme scream but that's up next this ride honestly is one of my favorites it's a lot of fun I just want you to watch the wave on this ride. We're not riding in it because we're not riding any of the water rides. But just look at this wave. Or splash or whatever. Oh my god! Oh jeez! I think we're gonna ride... I don't even remember what this is called. I think it's... Oh, this is called the Eye of the Storm. That is our next ride of the day. After this though, I think we're gonna have road every like major ride here in the park other than i guess those swings it's really helped that the park is literally empty today we've been able to get on rides like instantly we actually may ride t3 again i haven't seen it go though in a while i wonder if t 3s closed now <laughs> oh great i'm pretty sure it is closed yeah there's a sign up t3 is now closed that's great I think we're gonna ride the swings and that will be the last of like the major rides we have left. Well, here's a ride we haven't done yet. The uh, Mayflower, well, well, this isn't called the Mayflower. Uh, Kentucky Kingdom's version of the Mayflower. Oh, here's another ride we haven't done, Break Dance. This wasn't even open last time we were here. It's a little bit later. We rode the lightning run again. Right now we're grabbing a bite to eat. We're probably gonna stay for around another hour or so and then make our way to Holiday World. Go to two parks in one day. So we got our food, some pizza and some pretzel breadsticks. This looks very, very good. So we just got done eating. We are actually here at the lightning run. We're gonna ride that again. This will be the third time today. But before we ride the lightning run, I think right now would be a very good time to go to a compilation of all the rides here at Kentucky Kingdom.
Okay, so it's around 45 minutes later. We rode the lightning run, the thunder run, and a few flat rides like the Cyclos again. Now though, it is around three o'clock and it's time to get going. We got to ride everything here at uh, Kentucky Kingdom other than the rides that weren't open. As you see, we got the map right here of all this stuff. Uh, I'm making sure, yeah, I think we got to ride everything almost twice. Lightning run, we got to run ride four times in just four hours. But it is time now to go and head to Holiday World. Holiday World's around an hour and 15 minutes away or so, maybe about an hour. So, Kentucky Kingdom, it was a fun and short day. It's time to go to another theme park. 64 miles away, says we have a flash flood warning in Holiday World, that's Starting nice. Wait a second. Oh no. We came to the wrong park. I thought we were going to Holiday World. We went to Kids World. Are you kidding me? Well, I was gonna do this game if the high score wasn't insane, and it is insane. Someone got 13. Okay, well, go into the voyage now, I guess. Oh my gosh, my favorite ride, Tip of Canoes, is open. I'm riding this at least 30 times. Oh look, they actually are draining that wave pool. Apparently all the trash cans and stuff, I guess all the pools overflowed, and then basically Splash and Sorry was flooded and the trash cans are all floating in the water. It's basically just one big pool, is what Beth was saying. We're here at the voyage though. It's time for the first ride of Holiday World today. The Voyage. First ride on the voyage in over a month was amazing. Now though, it is time for Gobbler Getaway. You know I'm the champion of this game. Look at that, 2,310. I told you, I am the greatest of all time. I did the Gobbler Getaway. I also just did the turkey whirl off camera. We're now here at the Mayflower and, oh, uh, well, never mind. great. So, uh, I guess it's Thunderbird time. That's the last thing in the Thanksgiving section we have to do. So it is time for the first ride of the day on Thunderbird. So I rode the Thunderbird twice. It was very fun. Now though, we are heading back to the front of the park slowly. I think we're gonna ride the Voyage one more time and then head up to 4th of July, ride some rides there and then Halloween. And by then the park will be closed because we have about two hours till closing. So we're gonna get all the rides in. As I said, one more on the Voyage and then 4th of July and uh, Blizzard. Excuse me, you're in my way. Thank you, bye. So voyage ride number two, here we go. It's starting to rain, but as you saw, I rode the voyage for the second time. Now we're heading up to 4th of July, but before we do that, I think right now would be a good time to go to a compilation of all the rides here at Holiday World and Splash and Safari.
It's about an hour later. Uh, we went up to 4th of July. I rode Liberty Launch, Revolution, and the Firecracker. So three rides up in 4th of July. We're here at Halloween. We have about an hour till the park closes. We're gonna try to get in the Legend. Basically every ride here in Halloween. I think I just saw an employee walking up Frightful Falls. Hmm. We're here at the Legend though. It's time to ride the Legend. Wait, what does that say? Hold up, I see a sign, oh no. There's currently one train operating, uh, who cares, let's go. The Scrambler is next. Look at the water. They must have had some flooding there. The water is like green. I bet there's no dive shows going on today. We've made it up near the top of the park, but we have one ride left. The Raven Roller Coaster. Before we go, we got to make sure we go into Santa's Mary Marketplace before we go. Oh my God, what the heck? And just like that, we got off the Raven. We've rode basically everything here, and Holiday World is now about to close. Originally, I thought they closed at 8, but I guess they closed at 6, so we didn't get to really ride anything other than the Thunderbird and Voyage twice, but still got to spend around three hours here. Had a lot of fun. Two parks, two different time zones, and the same day. What a video this was. You guys wanted a Kentucky Kingdom vlog? You guys wanted another Holiday World video? You got two in one, but sad that it has to end because today was a lot of fun. Thank you, Holiday World. It definitely was a short day, but a lot of fun. We will be back uh, decently soon. And everyone, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. This was super cool going to Holiday World and Kentucky Kingdom in the same day. It was a ton of fun because obviously both parks are amazing. So many cool rides and roller coasters. Got to ride all of them in the same day and hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you all leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Speaking of subscribers, I'd like to thank you all for 8,000 subscribers. It really means a lot. And at the rate we're going up, I think it's time we start the watch for 10K subs. So if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. We have some crazy videos and live streams coming soon that you're not gonna wanna miss. Also, make sure you guys buy the merchandise. First link in the description. And that's going to be all. We have a ton of cool videos, as I said, coming out soon. But till next time, see ya!